This is truly one of the classics. This panel proposes a safety landing technique when an elevator fails and plummets uncontrollably. By simply stepping out a second before the impact, we supposedly could just bail out of it scot-free. Although interesting, it doesn't work. But fortunately for you and me, this scenario would probably never happen in the first place. Modern elevators come with backup mechanical brakes that activate automatically when the elevator starts to free fall. And even if those brakes weren't there, the falling elevator would land on a cushion of air at the bottom, because elevator shafts trap air just like an airbag which would soften the impact. But still, the original question is intriguing, so let's break it down. Imagine you are in an elevator on the 10th floor and it suddenly fails and goes down, which puts you, both you and the elevator in free fall, meaning gravity is the only force acting upon you. Now you're thinking of leaping out just before the impact, but that would be a bit problematic, because timing such a stunt would be nearly impossible. Falling down at the speed of 87 km per hour, you would have a fraction of a second to judge when to jump through a narrow exit with probably some obstacles. Being off by even a split second would be catastrophic, and even if by some miracle you did get out at the right moment, you would run into the real problem with this, conservation of momentum. When jumping away, you would still have the elevator's downward velocity. So if the elevator is plummeting at 87 km per hour, you would exit with that same speed minus your jump velocity, meaning the power you are pushing down on the platform before exiting, which at any circumstance won't be greater than 11 km per hour for a human. And the same can be said for all elevator jumping ideas. All of them don't work because human legs aren't strong enough to cancel all the momentum that was accumulated during the fall. The only merit of doing this particular one is perhaps getting away from dangerous debris, or perhaps if there were a pool on the other side, but still. The situation is kind of similar to taking a debt without paying it back, except this time, Physics doesn't give you the luxury of choosing, but luckily for all of us, as previously mentioned, modern elevators are very secure and have many safety measures to protect the passengers. 